a startup uh, among the founders is very much like a marriage. And that's why you have so many founders that don't get talked about who end up having breakups. And those startups that never get off the ground or don't reach escape velocity oftentimes is because there was an altercation uh, among co-founders, but it's just not made public by the VCs or the founders themselves because it's not in their best interest. But a lot of startups have that problem. It is a marriage. You're oftentimes spending more time with a co-founder than you are with a spouse or partner. So I think you can pick up on the EQ signals, but I think you need to put them in a pressure cooker to really know how they're going to perform. A version of that is the airport test. If you're traveling with your co-founder and you've been on a roadshow talking to investors, you know, and you've seen this person for 12 to 15 hours in the day and you're going to end up having a late dinner, uh, do you want to tear your hair out or are you looking forward to the conversation? And that just gets to founder chemistry or early management team chemistry. But at the same time, you want people that are respectful and easy to work with. It's a very delicate combination because those that are very successful, type A, ambitious folks oftentimes will have to let go of some of the other natural personality traits that make them easy to get along with. Finding that very subtle balance, again, obs obsession, bordering on unhealthy without being unhealthy is a very difficult tightrope to walk. It's the reason we screen out so many entrepreneurs before we find folks that either we want to work with or product leaders that we want to hire. It's a, there's a very small group and once you find those people, they tend to be forces of nature.